Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? My name is Lazius K and welcome back to my channel. I talk about the practical uses of VR. So, you're looking to travel and you're trying to use VR to immerse yourself in different cities and you don't really know which apps to use. Right, well, let me guide you through it. I'm going to give you the top four apps that you should not download. In fact, to me, I wouldn't say they're the worst apps because there is worse. There's always worse and worse, right? Does that make sense? So don't bother. Here they are. Here they're coming up. Top four right now. This app has a lot to offer. However, where it really fails is the fact that I have to use my head to go and navigate anywhere. I really don't like this. Uh, it creates a lot of motion sickness for me. Uh, the Oculus Go, I wouldn't say it's a very heavy headset, but you know, when you're using your head, you start to, to really feel that it's there. And honestly, it's not very comfortable. I wish I had the option at least to go into the settings and, you know, uh, choose to use my trigger. Um, so then I have to use my head, hold on something and it will automatically load. And it says you're here um, and then starts to, the content starts to load. So at times the content takes a long time to load. It takes more than 40 seconds or more than a minute. The screen goes completely black. I don't really know where I am, what's happening or what I'm doing or what I'm supposed to do, sorry. Uh, so I have to click the back button, get out of the app to quit. Then I have to reload the app. And to reload the app will take about another 40 seconds. So it brings me back to the original place. And I, again, I have to use my head and again, it's not working, it's not loading. Uh, but when it does load, the content is actually very decent, good quality. But overall, I would give this app really a one star, two stars out of 10 maximum. Virtuals takes a long time to load as well. Uh, it takes more than 40 seconds or 50 seconds, uh, the original screen, and then it will load you up here in this uh, environment. Uh, and there isn't actually a lot of content. Uh, and the other thing is you also have to use your head to navigate, which again, I really personally feel contributes towards motion sickness. And it is not something I would highly recommend uh, content creators in the future or businesses who want to create an app to do. Please make sure you use your trigger. This is really important. Uh, then the other thing is once you have settled on something you want to watch and you click on it, you have to pre-download all the uh, content. Once it's been pre-downloaded, I just wanted to show you everything is actually done in 3D. Uh, there's no music or environment, so you just navigate. Um, however, it's very limited in terms of what you can navigate in. Uh, it shows you, for example, this is Rome. So it shows you ancient Rome and how things were built. Uh, but if I log out, I'll show you exactly what is wrong with this app. If I go to VR experience and I click on it, for example, the issue with this app is that when you load it for the very first time, you have to wait for every single piece of content to install into your Oculus. Because the first time I loaded this app, uh, I waited literally so long for everything to download. It was really irritating and I just gave up. Story app is actually a very cool name for an app. I have to admit it gets me going. It gets me curious. It reminds me of the movie Up, of course. Um, so, but however, after it loads for the very first time, again, I have to use my head to navigate. It is extremely annoying. I wish there was a setting button where I could actually use my trigger, which would be much more user friendly. Again, if you're a business, you're looking to create an app, please do not use, uh, or at least give people the option to use the, 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 the remote because it makes it, it makes it much easier. And that is why the most successful apps use the remote and not the head, by the way. Uh, so once it loads, there's a lot of content to watch. So I have to tilt my head, then use the trigger. I can't move the arrow, as you can see there. Um, so I can go to the different uh, categories here on the left hand side. And I use my trigger in order to click on the different things. Um, and then once I see, I mean, it has a lot of different stories, basically from different countries all over the world, uh, special different things. Uh, so if you are looking to travel, then it's an interesting way to see things. But the only issue I have with this is you have to download the content first. If I click on the content, I cannot stream it. I have to download HQ. So this will actually take a lot of space on your Oculus Go, especially if you bought the 64 gigabyte one. 
uh, which remember the memory has already been eaten up by pre-installed software in order to make the Go work. Um, and I have to wait so long and my internet connection is actually really fast and it's just taking forever. Um, and then if I want to, you know, whilst that's downloading, if I want to download something else, again, it's going to take forever and there's no way for me. I mean, I can click again to make it stop. Um, but it generally I have to wait at least five minutes before everything is downloaded and I don't have that patience. My Oculus Go only has two hours to go or two hours and a half to go. You know, I'm in VR. I want to, to experience VR. I want to, to get into it. I want to, to, to view the content now. I'm very impatient. I have ADD. <laughs> I mean, whatever, you know, at the end of the day, we live in a world where waiting five minutes to download some content just to view something is not acceptable. I can go on YouTube VR and watch exactly the same thing or, you know, maybe uh, you know, go into Inception and find something very similar. So there are tons of other apps I can use in order to watch very similar content if I'm looking to travel and I just want to see some stories about those uh, cities. So I would give this app maybe 3 out of 10 uh, because the content is more diverse than the previous two. But honestly, it's not worth your time, not recommended uh, until they actually do something about the downloading time. This was a really tough app to put inside the not recommended apps uh, and I will show you why exactly. The first thing is again I have to use my head to navigate and they have this kind of zooming effect which honestly yes it could look cool but it actually gives me motion sickness. Um, so for example if we go in one of the apps uh, that they created um, you know, there's a little description here. They are very beautifully made and there is some very interesting stuff, uh, which is why it was really hard, but oh my God, I have to close my eyes every time I'm here. Uh, the quality of the actual recordings is very good. They give you the option to download. So basically you have to pre-download the content before you can view it. So you have two options. Option number one, you can pre-download the low resolution, which will be much more blurry. Or option number two, uh, you can download the higher quality resolution, but the files are much bigger. So if I then uh, put my head on one of the blue circles and leave it there, I, oof, oh my God, I, it just make, oh, it just gives me motion sickness. Um, let me just turn down the volume. I can hear the sea. I mean, I'm very, once I'm inside the content, I'm very immersed. Uh, it's one of the best quality content for traveling kind of content that I've seen, which is why it's very hard for me to put it in the categories. But simply because when I do this, I have to close my eyes, wait for the transition and then open my eyes again. Otherwise, I will just feel so sick. I really have to remove my headset and doing this recording right now for me is a very, it's just not a nice experience at all. I am so sorry. As you can see, some of the, the content that they create is very cool. They have North Korea, which I watched and is very interesting. The documentary inside is pretty cool to watch. Um, it can take quite a long time to download the content. Uh, if we go and I will show you, you see you have high resolution or low resolution. I have to use my head to do everything, which is Oh, it's really, really annoying. Most of the content in a high resolution is, by the way, uh, about one gigabyte or two gigabytes, generally speaking. Once the content has started to download, I cannot stop it, uh, which again, doesn't give me the flexibility to save space on my Oculus. They really do need to update the way they've edited the content uh, without creating all these, you know, all these kind of transitions. If we go into Borderland 2016, so you can uh, do the high resolution or the, le the low resolution. So you see if I choose the high resolution format, it says prepare downloading. Okay, this one is only 391 megabytes, but generally speaking, uh, they are much higher than that. They're about one gig, if not two gigabytes for the Burning Man. Burning Man is uh, of course a very famous place. I'm using my head to navigate everywhere. So it's oof, I have to close my eyes again because I'm getting too sick from this. Um, but the quality of the content is really, really cool. Uh, so I just circle, put my head on the circle, close my eyes so I don't see the transition. So you have a narrator that takes you through the documentary. I mean, they did do a lot of work on this. Uh, they have all these different um, 
point of views where you can go and check out the, the different things. But my God, if it wasn't for these transitions, I mean, I'm willing to wait to download the content because the content is actually quite good. So waiting five minutes to, to, for it to download is okay for this app because I wouldn't be able to find the same content on other platforms. That's the difference. If I'm able to find something similar on YouTube VR or Inception or Veer, then I wouldn't bother, honestly. But because I cannot and the content quite, is quite good here, I'm willing to wait. All right, so we looked at the top four worst apps that I could find so far. If you're looking to travel and try to find a way to use VR to immerse yourself in different parts of the world, trying to find some interesting content to watch, whether it's a documentary or navigate through specific different scenes. All right, remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together, we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Please comment below, let me know other apps that perhaps you know made you feel uneasy, uh, whether this review was actually useful to you or if there are any ideas and suggestions that you may have for me to go out and shoot. All right, until next time, take it easy. Thank you again for watching and for subscribing. DJ, take it away.